You know what time it is, boys. We don't need this anymore. She just very proud of me. We got different products. Yeah. Spend a lot of Welcome to No Nut November. This month is sacred for the no fappers. Now, for those that don't know what No Nut November is, it was a meme, but for some reason, people took it seriously and turned it to an actual holiday. I think it started around 2018. That's when I really started seeing a bunch of No Nut November memes. At first, I thought it was funny. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, don't bust your willy. Haha. <laughs> but then people were going hard, treating it like it was a World War III draft. But No Nut November derives from NoFap. And from an outsider's point of view, NoFap sounds weird as shit. But trust me, it's not that weird. It's basically just not beating your dick. <laughs> but people go on NoFap because they have an excessive porn addiction. And they want to cleanse their mind from, you know, that addiction. As human beings, we weren't designed to, you know, look at our phones and get off that easily. So abstaining from masturbation or sex over a long period of time helps reset your brain. So that you're not always thinking about big booty models and boobies. No Nut November helped popularize NoFap and now at least the whole dude side of the internet is talking about it. I don't see any girls talking about no nutting. The whole gist is just not to nut for the whole month of November and if you do it then congratulations you won. I wanted to do No Nut November last year but unfortunately I failed the first day so it is what it is. <laughs> with that being said, let's get into the benefits, negatives, and my experience with NoFap. So I started doing NoFap, I think actually around this time last year. Like I said, I, I literally failed the first day and I was just like, damn bro, this is way too hard. Cause it's like trying to break a crack addiction. You can't. Anything that's too addictive, it's going to be hard to break out of it. You need some strong discipline with it. And that's the deal. The whole point of NoFap in general is to help yourself build discipline, confidence, and overall just self-improve. During the time I started NoFap, I would struggle. It was just so hard. Hard. My phone was looking good. My Instagram feed was going crazy. The internet. And it just felt like everything was against me in terms of trying to break the addiction. It's like being addicted to weed, cigarettes, crack, or just anything. You can literally be addicted to sugar. Anything can be an addiction if you allow it to. But you're going to have to fight through it. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're probably going to sit in bed and be like, damn, I need to whack my stick. And it wasn't until quarantine hit was when I was like, all right, I really need a change. It's not healthy having your left hand be your best friend. The longest streak I went was around 60 days i'm proud of that haven't been able to crack that ever since <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying man during my experience with nofap it helped me out a lot at first It was very hard because I was so used to this all started when I was around 13 I was curious one day got a hold of a couple websites and the rest is history from there It was just a great substitute. You didn't really have to talk to girls You just went home and did your thing It was convenient and that convenience led me to not have so much interest in talking to girls and it was very unhealthy Beating your meat is like playing the dating game on easy mode, bro. You got dudes spending their money trying to impress a girl meanwhile cheat code left hand and i don't know if it was just me but fapping made me very moody not moody as if i'm trying to kill your grandma or some shit because she stole my retainer but it was kind of like that passive aggressive anger i would be super sarcastic and this might be because when you masturbate a lot you cause a lot of chemical imbalance in your head because you're releasing a lot of energy especially when you're doing it back to back to back to back to back to back i'm talking about like every day every hour that's not it don't take my word for it i'm not a scientist but that's just one thing i've noticed from my experience at least. But compared to before I started NoFap, I'm a little bit more stoic than I was prior. I would say masturbating excessively definitely fucked up my emotional stability. It made me kind of awkward to talk to girls. I would always kind of just like sweat in my head like, oh my God, a girl's talking to me on oh my own. What do I do? Because I always had that fantasization of porn, sex, all that shit in my head. I wouldn't think of actually being engaged in a conversation. I'd just be like, oh my God, she has boobs. <laughs> like some, you know, some, some typical teenager shit. So my confidence was completely booty. And with that being said, girls like confidence. Obviously, there are other factors to getting girls to like you. Some girls might like looks. Some girls like, might like money. Some girls might like height. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> girls shouldn't be your main purpose to strive to better yourself, though. But if you're not a confident human being, people are going to step over you, and you don't want that. I'd rather be broke than be disrespected. There is no key secret to confidence. That's one thing I realized. It's just being comfortable with who you are. Working out definitely helps out with that. No fap can, too. But you can be fat and be confident. You can be very skinny and be confident. It's just a mindset. But definitely try to look to self-improve if you can. Always try to strive to be your best self. Model my brand a brunt. We still got some items on the site if you want to support me and the brand it's one of the only ways i make money through social media so if you want to support a good cause and have some cool clothes to wear go cop it you move different with confidence y'all know that scene in spider-man 2 or 3 i, I forgot you gotta sway 
Gotta sway, man. <laughs> People claim that you gain a lot of focus and concentration when you do no fap, but for me, it was kind of the same. It didn't really differ if I was fapping or not. Well, I still have the focus and concentration to do everyday tasks. I feel like focus is built through discipline. So as long as you have a goal you want to accomplish and tie yourself to completing that goal, you'll be able to do it. Around the seventh day of no fap, you get a spike in testosterone and you can definitely noticeably, you know, see that because your voice will get much deeper and you'll start to grow hair much more thicker. But this incline later on levels out after the seventh day. So it's like getting a Mario one up and then it runs out the next day. At some point, you're gonna relapse and get depressed. It's happened to me so many times, but it is what it is. We've all looked up some weird shit. I know you've looked up some weird shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the more reason why no fat helps with that because if you're not doing it You're not gonna feel like ass. Well, you're gonna feel like ass on some occasions that don't relate to no fat But you're gonna feel less like ass if you don't beat your meat all the time But let's play devil's advocate with no fat for a little bit There isn't a lot of scientific evidence that says no fat really truly helps clear those symptoms It is still different for a lot of people No fat could be a placebo or pseudo science because I know some people that literally beat off every day and are confident in Shit. It's like they just accepted the fact that they'll probably never get laid and they just said fuck it But hey, if it works for them, it's crazy I feel like the reason why it does work for a lot of people is because most people that do start no fap are people that are heavy porn addicts that do it for a long ass time I'm not really sure. I don't really know the scientific details about it But all I know is that if it works for you, it works. If it doesn't, it is what it is